scriptures. In particular, the case of Bomet has been addressed and the case of the destruction of poor materials in Embo County last evening has been taken over by the UDA Disciplinary Committee. The aspirants whose supporters were responsible for that exercise have already been summoned to appear before the Disciplinary Committee on Saturday at 9 o'clock at this venue. As a party, we abhor violence, intimidation, and obstruction of democracy. That is well espoused in the party constitution, the nomination rules, and the code of conduct for aspirants and party members. Preliminary investigations have indicated, including video footage and other evidence in the possession of the disciplinary committee, have indicated that the, ex the arson and destruction of poor material that took place in Embu yesterday was linked to some of our aspirants vying for various seats in that county. A very, very detailed summons has been issued detailing the charges, the particular charges that those aspirants are facing so that they can prepare their defense. We want to note and announce to the country that the UDA party takes electoral violence extremely seriously. And the consequences of electoral violence for any party member or an aspirant include, but is not limited to, disqualification of the aspirants irrespective of the outcome of today's exercise. Also, if those accusations are proven to be true, the consequences include suspension of such aspirants or party members from the party or even complete expulsion. On behalf of the party, therefore, the board and the leadership of the party firmly asks all aspirants who are participating in today's exercise to refrain from any acts of violence, intimidation, or obstruction of the process. We will be monitoring 